would you ever open your door <laughs> and invite demons in? If you are sane, you are not going to do that. Why? Because demons don't bring blessings. They bring curses. So why in the world would you want anything that is going to curse you? <laughs> if you believe that you can curse people and do wrong to people and nothing is going to happen to you, that is crazy to think that way. Whatever you do to people, it is going to turn back on you. Well, Kevin, I don't care. Listen, music and movies. Music. Do you believe that you can listen to music that speak about sex, murder, greed, lust, and so many more demonic stuff do you believe that you can entertain yourself with that mess and not be affected? With rap music now, so many more people are wearing these dreadlocks. Now, there were people wearing dreadlocks before many rap artists started wearing them. But you see how music influences people. Now so many people have them. And not only normal dreadlocks, but they are doing it in this feminine way. trying to make you look more feminine. You know, back when I was younger, teenager, the rap artists were much more masculine. <laughs> Way more masculine. Now, they have you wearing skinny jeans, really tight fitting jeans, with long hair and shaping it up as a female. And some people, not only that, sag their skinny jeans, so wearing tight fitting jeans, showing their underwear, believing that is normal. And you say that music doesn't influence people. How is it normal to dress as a female when you are a male and showing your underwear to random people. How is that normal? But you say that music doesn't influence people. Look, the way that you think and the way that you speak lines up with the music that you are listening to. Coincidence? I think not. And not only rap music, rock and all this other stuff. If you are listening to death and uh, killings and stuff like that, that is going to influence you. So when you come to me or say to me, Kevin, I can't stop sinning, of course. If you are filling yourself with things of demons, <laughs> how do you believe that? If you are filling yourself with things of demons, how do you expect God to come in that? If <laughs> how can I say this? 
If I am pouring water in my gas tank, why am I surprised that there is no gasoline in there? <laughs> because I am putting water in my gas tank. How can you continue filling yourself with demonic entertainment and believe that you can come to God. How is that possible? Tell me. Sometimes I go to shop for some food or some clothes and stuff like that. And sometimes they have that foolish secular music on. And don't you know, even if I was in the store for 10 or 15 minutes, that dumb song or that bad song is going to stay in my head for a while and I have to pray it out. And I don't listen to secular music. But the short time I am in that store, that music sometimes is stuck in my mind. Coincidence? I think not. The way that you dress, the way that you think, you either listened to it or saw it. Man, please listen to what I am saying. So if you are listening and watching things about death, fornication, adultery, killings, rapes, harming people and stuff like that, it is going to be a part of you. You are going to act it out in some way or fashion. I am telling you. I am telling you. So don't tell me that your music or your movies has no influence on you, then why do you act, why do you act and think like everyone else? Or why do you think and act with the things you entertain yourself with? So there is influence, man. This is why I tell you all <laughs> to read your Bible more, to pray more. Why? Because it is going to influence you. It is going to be a part of you. I just told you that what we listen to and what we watch is going to be part of us. So if you are listening to and reading things of God, it is going to be part of you. So when you say to me, Kevin, I can't stop sinning, I know what is your problem. I know what is your problem. Your problem is your entertainment, your friends, movies, music. Well, Kevin, you are just too strict. You don't know what you are talking about. Listen, then go and sin all you want, then die in sin and regret <laughs> not listening to me because I know what I am talking about. We are influenced easily. If you, man, ah, listen, please listen. Please listen. If you start praying every day and listening to teachings about God every day and doing things of God every day, it is going to take part of you. <sighs> what else can I say? If you are not going to listen to this, listen, how long have you been trying to do things in your own way? Years. And have it worked? No. So why not do something different and check out the results? 
other than doing the same thing and coming to Kev and say, Kevin, this isn't working. Crazy, man. So please listen to what I am saying and do it. Well, Kevin, if I don't listen to secular music or movies, I am going to be bored. Listen, you are only going to be on this earth at the most 80 years, if that. Won't you just suffer for your 80 years, then die and go to heaven? Isn't that worth it? Other than enjoying your time on this wicked world, then dying in sin, then going to hell, then the lake of fire forever. So you are willing to sacrifice 80 years for an eternity in hell, which is crazy. Why would you do that? It makes much more sense to sacrifice this little time on earth for an eternity of happiness. The reason why you may think that not looking at secular things is boring or if you don't do it, it is going to be boring because you have not tried something else. Listen, I used to be really huge in Greek mythology. I loved it so much. So when I learned that I had to stop watching it, I was crushed. <laughs> there was a video game called God of War. And I loved so much watching the gameplay on YouTube. Very, very interesting. But so much demonic stuff in there. So much. And I learned that it was affecting me. It got to the point where it kept on coming to my mind and I couldn't get it out. So I had to pray to get that stuff, demonic stuff, out of my mind. So is that a coincidence? I think not. Listen. Cut out the secular. Now, let me say this. Now, there are times when I watch, every so often, I may watch this video about cats, you know. <laughs> cats, dogs, and stuff like that. Every so often, not every day. And I may watch it for 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever. And I go back to teachings and stuff like that. But I am not going to watch a video about killings and death and suicides and rape and like Game of Thrones. No, I am not going to watch that anymore. Because that series is so demonic. True Blood, if you can watch True Blood, Something is wrong with you. <laughs> and I don't really know too much about other TV shows because I don't watch them. It may be hard to change that, to cut everything off, but it is going to be worth it. You are going to see changes in your spiritual life when you cut out that secular stuff. I am telling you. Please listen. My Lord, please help me. So let me stop here. And I pray that I proved my point. Because the way you think 
the way that you act, you either saw it or listened to something and it persuaded you to be that way. Hence, this is why you act the way that you act. Which, if you are not acting as the Bible is telling us, you are being influenced by demons, ultimately Satan. So in so many words, you are bowing down to Satan. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Well, Kevin, I disagree with you because you don't know what you're talking about. Listen, just do it. Let me stop here. God bless you.